What's up? It's your boy, Skinny P. Uh, back at it again. Uh, my other buddy couldn't make it today. He was too busy on the weekend. So uh, it's just going to be a solo sushi adventure today. Uh, went over to Family Fair and got me the uh, rainbow roll. Uh, Ten piece rainbow roll. Around $10.50. A little more with tax. And a uh, kiwi strawberry ice. You know, the good stuff. Um, but, you know... It looks a lot better than what we got at Sam's Club last week. Uh, actually has fish on it. Actually has, you know, stuff. <laughs> um, the only thing I forgot was I forgot to grab a chopstick. So I'm going to be a absolute mongoloid and eat this with my hands. So we'll see how it goes. First one we're going to try is basically, a, uh, I believe it's a salmon. probably I don't remember but um looks pretty good fish is not too slimy which is always a good thing uh looks like there's crab in the roll along with some avocado and cucumber You know, the fact that it's still cold, has some good texture. I'm just eating some ginger. Um, very nice. You know, that's not bad at all. Tastes actually pretty good. We also got some of these uh, really small, probably just single tuna roll. You know, a little, little hoo-ha, try that out. I mean, it is an individual morsel. There's not much more you could ask for. Um, I mean, it's, it's good. The rice has that vinegar rice flavor that you kind of look for in sushi. I mean, okay, you go to a restaurant, you're gonna get better stuff than this. Almost, I almost guarantee you. Uh huh. But for okay, they did they did something weird here. I don't know if this is on purpose or a mistake, but. It looks like they cut the rolls. Oh, fuck. I don't know if you can see that, but multiple times, uh, maybe to get the curve in this dish. Now that's, I kind of, I don't know. That doesn't really jive with me very well, just because, um, I mean, now I have rolls that are like this big, so it's kind of weird. Now I believe, maybe this one's a salmon. It's color. Right? I don't know. Fish A and fish B. That's what I'm going to call it. I do think it like the kind of feel and texture of the first one a bit more. Um, that's pretty good. That's a good compliment. No root beer float this time. Root beer float that sent me over the edge last time. But I guess since they cut it, oh, oh, at, wait a minute. Okay. So the roll is actually cut normal. What they did was they cut the fish to fit the roll. I mean. I guess that's a little bit better, but still kind of weird that they did it that way. But you know what? They got to do what they got to do at Family Fair to you know, get by, use all the fish they can. Mmm, the mix. Whoa. The mix is crazy. Let me tell you what. Well, um, I gotta say, there's not, if you go to an actual sushi restaurant, you're gonna get a lot more flavor um, in the fish you eat, a lot more, <laughs> yeah, yeah, flavor. Um, here it just kind of tastes like uh, the fish is taking, I mean, the fish slices are so thin, look at that, so thin. And so you're not really getting much of a fish taste. So there is that. 
Uh, you're getting a lot of the inside, which is the crab. The probably fake crab at that. Um, but the avocado and the cucumber. Uh, you're getting a lot of the rice taste, that's for sure. That is a bit strange. Um, I'm gonna skip this next one for now because it's a mix of the shrimp. Ooh, they did not cook that one all the way through. That's unlucky. Uh, I'm gonna go with a straight up just shrimp roll here. So, yep, on top is just a very uh, thin slice of shrimp. And then nicely, nicely draped over the top, I gotta say. Uh, Candid tracks that they're uh, split up between different rolls a little bit, but. That's what I said, family fair, gotta do a family fair, gotta do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. I think that one is, so far out of the ones I've tried, probably the best one. Uh, mainly because these don't really have a lot of flavor. <laughs> you could say you get a little bit of fishiness and that's about it. But that one had a good crunchy texture almost because of the shrimp. So it was a nice kind of change of pace. It's a shame that there's only one shrimp roll and two, you know, half shrimp, half fish rolls in here. So, but here, I'm actually gonna try a strip of fish. Yeah, I I honestly can't taste anything that's, a, I can't taste the fish. It's like, it's like eating uh, just kind of mush, slightly, slightly foreign mush. Um, yeah, I, I wouldn't eat the fish on this one, just eat it with the roll. All right, now we're we're getting to unknown territory here. We're doing a, a shrimp with fish B. Yeah, it's salmon or tuna. I... Maybe it's tuna. I don't really know. <laughs> what do I know? But shrimp and uh, fish B with uh, crab, avocado, and cucumber. You know, I'm really tasting a lot of that cucumber, or no, avocado. Um, a normal sushi roll should be balanced in kind of all its flavors. These are definitely not. These are uh, part-time workers at, you know, food market stores that are just trying to do the job. I respect that, but they're not professional sushis makers or rollers, whatever you want to call them. Uh, they're, they're just slapping them together kind of good. <sighs> oh, I guess since I checked last time, let's take a look at this wasabi. I mean, it's your classic. Better than Sam's Club, I would say. Um, it's still just your classic paste. But this paste seems at least fresher. Um, not bad. Um, I would say, out of everything I've tried so far, it's all above what we got at Sam's Club last, last week. Um, so much better. Actual fish on top garnish uh, i mean for for the garnish they're still using you know plastic green stuff but you know they, they do that everywhere for anywhere you get sushi to go the ginger they gave us a nice portion for honestly what we got i mean 
swapping in between all these rolls is not big flavor changes in general, but they're trying. We're trying to give you the option to just, mmm, palate cleanser, but. All right, here's another big one. Oh, a single, a single roll of, um, get out of my way. Get, get out of my way. Go away. <laughs> okay, here we go. So this one is a imitation crab roll. Look at that. Whoa. Whoa. Wacky shack. But we're going to give this imitation crab roll a try. One of its kind in the box. The same with someone like the shrimp, you know. Uh, but yeah, here we go. Mmm. Mmm. This one's hard. Oh. <laughs> okay, I got it. Fuck. Oh. Okay, so this one might just be a me thing here. Um, I personally don't like the flavor of imitation crab. It does doesn't taste natural, and uh, I, I personally I don't like the flavor. I think texture is fine, but and so when it's in the inside of the inside of the roll, there's a lot more shit kind of in the way of getting made the flavor. Um, but with that huge helping on top, that flavor of the artificial crab was just kind of overbearing for me. I had to oh, kind of take my time to swallow that one down. It was not perfect for me uh, by any stretch of the word. Um, but at least these last couple rolls were basically just fish. I'm actually going to take the artificial crab off this one because I... Not my favorite. And a little... Hit a wasabi. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a palate cleanser after that. Oh, God. And, um, we can note here is it is sell by 523. It is in time. It's 522 hours of filming. So that's a good sign. Um, good to know our sushi is up to date. And yeah, pretty good. So for that one hiccup, pretty good. Well, all in all, it was a good experience, I think. Uh, I'll probably rave it a, a five out of 10, minus the crab. Uh, for me personally, including the crab would definitely be uh, more, probably three out of 10 territory, because that almost made me throw up. Um, but yeah, if you need a quick sushi, don't want to go to a restaurant, you know, family fare is okay. So yeah. Hope you guys enjoy it and uh, catch you next week for maybe Safeway, who knows? But yeah, hope you guys enjoy it and I'll see you later. Peace.